What up YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about stopping stereotypes. Now, when I look at this, it's sad because everybody, and I mean everybody on this planet, is prejudiced in some type of way. And if you slow and you don't know what prejudice means, it means prejudging somebody, okay? Now, a lot of people always prejudge me. I don't know why. I don't know. They, they come up with this synopsis in their head of they think they know you, but then when I finally speak, I shut them down because they probably thinking I'm, you know, five years behind, but I'm really 40 years ahead, real talk. And, um, you know, it's one thing that I hate. Like, it's like this one stereotype that I hate the most. And I, I, everybody always said, you know what I'm saying? And the stereotype is that Asians, more like, uh, well, Asians, you know, precisely Chinese people, they always say Chinese people is nasty because they eat cats and dogs. Now, when I hear that, I got to step in because I am Semitic. Semitic is Afro Asiatic. You know what I'm saying? It's basically African and Asian, real talk. A lot of y'all out there are Semitic too, you know what I'm saying? You got African and Asian in your blood, real talk. Real talk, go look it up. Afro Asiatic, that means Semitic. And you gotta look at it like this. Chinese people, Asians in general, you know what I'm saying? They is the closest to black people, real talk. Then it would be um like it'd be Chinese people, then Indians, you know what I'm saying? Like India, you know. Not Native Americans, but it'd be Chinese, well, it'd be Asians, it'd be Indians, then it'd be Arabs, you know what I'm saying? Even though Arabs is more closer than that, but real talk, if you look at an Asian and you look at a black person, they look the same except their skin tone different. Real talk, man, I'm telling you, real talk, a lot of Asians got woolly hair, got curly hair, you know what I'm saying, got straight hair, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of blacks that got woolly, curly, straight hair, real talk, Afro-Asiatic. Now, this stereotype is retarded. It is disrespectful to them. It is disrespectful to ourselves because you say Asian people are nasty because they eat cats and dogs, but you got to look at it from this perception. They think we nasty because we eat cows. You know what I'm saying? We eat cows. We eat chickens. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? We eat animals they don't eat. You know what I'm saying? Animals that they think is sacred, we don't think is sacred. Animals we think is sacred, they don't think is sacred. Like... <coughs> For example, in America, we use, you know what I'm saying, we keep cats and dogs as our pets. So, of course, you're going to be like, that's nasty to eat them because you used to waking up seeing your dog every day. You used to waking up seeing your cat every day, your hamster, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But, you know, out there, overseas and whatnot, especially in India, the cow is sacred, okay? The cow says Mu. Mu is the planet Mu. It was destroyed in a spiritual warfare. Real talk. That's why we used to have 13 planets in our orbit. But a lot of them gone because, you know, spiritual warfare, real talk. You had Draco. Um, you had uh, Liberal or whatever. Planet X, you know, Pluto or whatever. And what, you know how they say that. But you had spiritual wars that destroyed this stuff. And the cow is sacred because it's the fertilizer, okay? The cow eats grass, then it poops it out. But it's pooping out grass. You know, it's the fertilizer. The cow is the bull. The bull is the cow, real talk. That's why some cows have horns. Now... They don't eat this, okay? I don't think Asian people eat the cow either, you know what I'm saying? Because they know it's sacred. You see what I'm saying? To them, that's nasty, eating the cow. To us, we eat beef, and that's not good. That's You know what I'm saying? That's You eating a sacred animal. You know what I'm saying? You disrespecting your ancestors. So you would say they nasty because they eat cats and dogs. Nobody, let me, let me say it just like this. Nobody is better than nobody. If anything, we all nasty. Because everybody on this planet they ate some type of piece of meat before. You know what I'm saying? They eat animals, we eat animals. So what makes that any different? Okay, they eat a cat and dog. And America used to have a cat and a dog as a pet. Out there, they may have cows as pets. You know what I'm saying? They have penguins as pets in Japan. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, think about it. Don't just stereotype them. You know what I'm saying? Or any so-called race. You know what I'm saying? Ethnicity, nationality. Because if you want to get technical, we all nasty. You know what I'm saying? Some cultures nastier than others, eating bugs and whatnot, but a lot of bugs have protein, you see what I'm saying? So just because you ain't used to summer, you ain't never seen it, don't just stereotype them like they nasty. If that's the case, say we all nasty because we all, we eat meat, 
We eat animals too. They eat animals. Okay, what makes us any different? Okay, they eat cats. They eat dogs. We eat cows. That's a sacred animal. Okay, what makes us any fucking better? You see what I'm saying? So stop with that prejudice shit. Stop with that stereotype and shit. Real talk, man. Real talk. And think about it like this. <coughs> the government, <coughs> they, they basically use the uh, media, <coughs> multi-ethnic destruction in America, manic European devils in action. They use the media to manipulate the minds of the people. So when you do run into an Asian person, they always looking at you crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might try to try something to them, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they're from overseas, they're going to look at you crazy. But at the same time, a lot of Asians, and not just Asians, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Arabians, you know what I'm saying? Indians, you know what I'm saying? All these people, you know, French people, you know what I'm saying? All these people, you know what I'm saying? They know that the dark-skinned person is a higher being, you know what I'm saying? It's a melanated person, you know what I'm saying? Real talk, real talk. They know the more melanin you got, the more powerful you get. Real talk, that's why... They always respect the melanated one. Y'all better wake the damn up, real talk. And the media are going to try to flip it around to get us to fight against each other. So when you do see a white person or whatever, it's instant, hosti- it's instant hostility towards y'all. Y'all don't even know each other, but y'all just angry because the news said this, the news said that. The news brought up something from 50 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, always bring your old shit up, trying to manipulate shit. They don't want us to be friends. You know what I'm saying? They don't want black people and white people to be friends. They don't. They don't want Asians and blacks to be friends. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Where do you ever see an Asian and a black person get into it? You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Like, you got to think about it. Like, I ain't saying this shit ain't happening, but come on. They usually try to put us against the white people. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want us to come together because they know if we come together, we can shut all this shit down, okay? Don't feed into the hype, public enemy.